Somebody asked me how I felt about uh, Hanato Laranja getting his black belt in 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu. And um, I think it's a good thing that he's getting his black belt. Um, in fact, I think it's probably way overdue because he was so overqualified. He's been training since he was eight years old and he has, uh, I forget, I think it's like 10th degree black belt in Jiu Jitsu already. And then he, then he's, um, went to uh, check out what Eddie Bravo is doing. But the thing that I like about Hanato is that, um, he's always been his own, his own person, even though he's training in 10th planet Jiu Jitsu, um, he doesn't hold back too much on his, uh, on his criticisms of Eddie Bravo and Eddie Bravo, Bravo's lifestyle. And what I like about, you know, one of the things that I like about Eddie Bravo is that, um, is that, uh, he has a, obviously a secure enough, um, sense of, uh, self worth and, uh, confidence that he can allow a student to, um, be critical, you know, and, and be himself, and, uh, he doesn't have to, like, try to, try to force Hanato into, uh, into his mold, you know, this is a, this is somebody that's, that's come to him, um, you know, on his side, he's looking at what's the, what's the best thing for this student, on Hanato's side, he's looking at Eddie, and he's looking at some of the lifestyle choices that he makes, and he's, he's a little critical, but, um, ultimately, they're both um, benefiting from the from the relationship. You don't have to be you don't have to be an echo chamber to uh, to have a good relationship with somebody. It's best if you be yourself, and they they are their selves, and you find a way to um, relate to one another on that level. That's that's what creates good relationships, not this idea where um where you have a, a kind of a a, a guru a, a spiritual uh guru with all of these disciples especially when that when that guru is fucked up in the head but um but in general you know anybody that wants to position themselves in relation to others in that way has probably got a problem um, so when I look at the relationship between Eddie Bravo and Hanato Laranja, then I see, you know, this is a healthy kind of a, a relationship between a uh, martial arts uh, instructor, in fact, a real founder of a real martial art, um, <laughs> and then there's the matter you know, the other thing that I like about Hanato, and, and I'll, I'll put a link here to the video that I'm referring to, but um, he was one of the ones, one of the early guys to, uh, to really come out publicly to challenge Freddie Lee. Um, a lot of people don't, don't know this, I, I, I don't think, but uh, he was. I mean, there was, there was Travis Johnson, obviously, early on. And, uh, but as Freddie badmouthed, uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Hanato Laranja came out with a challenge and it's pretty clear who he's talking about. And, uh, especially cause he talks about the, the, the big head kind of a thing, how he, how he, uh, he notices that this guy who's talking trash about Jiu Jitsu has a big head and he wants to, uh, squeeze his head. It reminded me of uh, watching watching that video. Reminded me of something uh, my my father-in-law once said uh, to a, a teacher who was um, who was a little bit overbearing and and uh, had bad things to say. He told that he told that teacher, um, "If I wanted shit from you, I'd squeeze your head." <laughs> That's pretty much what Hanato Laranja says to Freddie says uh <laughs> you got a big head i'd like to squeeze that head 
So, yeah, he's got all my respect. I'm glad he's getting his black belt. That's good for him, good for the martial arts community.